Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my first impressions on the MBK Slayback. So, uh, essentially, what happened was I didn't actually record the unboxing initially because I did it on a live stream and I had a pretty big issue with the detent. Then I talked to Monterey Bay Knives, who was great about it, and said, yeah, that doesn't look right. Let me send you a new one. Bang, got it in the mail quick. I also ended up getting the Easy C 1.5 in Black Micarta. Both have perfect detents. Uh, I honestly might prefer the one on the Slayback because it cracks out of there, locks up every time. If you break the detent, it locks up. The Easy C is a little bit strong, which I, I like, so it's fine, but I think I prefer this. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so I did record a uh, unboxing of the two knives, right? And uh, I don't know. I figured I have a time right now. I'm at work on a break, and um, I don't want to do a disassembly of this because of how dialed this action is. Uh, it's just not worth it to me to to maybe fuck that up. I got to start realizing that maybe I'm not the best at taking a knife apart and putting it back together. I mean, I, I, I'm good. I can tune knives very well. Um, but when there's no reason to, why would you? I'm just going to be trying to get it to be as good as it is now. That makes no sense. So I'll wait until I need to clean it. I get it. Maybe people want to see a disassembly, but eventually I'll probably do that, right? So anyway, I figured I'd do it face cam style. I've been doing a lot of desktop with the first impressions for other knives and uh comparison stuff and i don't know just felt like doing this so um this knife is incredible guys uh you have that 420j jacketed uh blade with zdp 189 for the edge there hardness is at 66 to 67 uh, 58 on the jacket you have this awesome like sway back design on the handle but it's not too much of that sway back like the Pena one that I had the front flipper just I don't know it was a little too much for me uh, has that standard Laconico MBK clip and uh, fuller and pretty much the standard Laconico uh, shape right I mean a little three inch knife with a flipper tab uh, jimping is pretty much identical to all MBK flippers like this um, it's it seems a little thinner than others but it could just be me um, you know, I just really like it. it. It pops out of there. It's comfortable in hand. It, I wish it was a little bigger, but you know, I get it. I have not really been holding it up here, even though you can, and I said you could. Um, it is a good cutter. Uh, it has a fantastic edge on it. I was cutting some paper. I don't know when it was, but uh, yeah, fantastic. I cut out a shipping label with this, and that's what I love about a warney like this is it just is right there that tip is right there cutting that label ready to go i cut out mr david uh t's shipping label because he was the winner of that marbled carbon fiber modded stinger uh that i did for a patreon giveaway uh so uh, congrats to david also uh as i am recording this john over at grateful panic has hit 1k on youtube so big congratulations to john over there and uh i will be doing my big uh, 2k giveaway on the lefty live stream this thursday so this will probably post after that but i uh, just wanted to kind of shout that out uh so that'll be cool we got three knives at least to give away uh so yeah i mean ergos are are good they're not great for me I just don't like that sway back stuff, but it's comfortable. I, I'll give it that. My thumb lands in a good spot. There's no jimping or anything on here. Uh, just a kind of simple knife. I mean, full titanium build. I do wish they would do an easy C uh, 1.5 in this inset lock with full titanium. Oh, my goodness. It's just who needs a frame lock when you can have this? You know, you're just not going to have any issues with lock bar pressure ever left-handed or right-handed i mean it just makes sense to use this inset lock um in my opinion I, I really really like the inset lock on here i mean they've got it dialed perfectly i mean look at that lock up it's just like perfect the way they did this i, I don't know I'm, I'm really impressed uh 
I really enjoyed uh, chatting with Sanford Owen, I believe, who is who I'm chatting with on their Instagram. You know, he reached out after I, um, I, I don't know if it was after I posted the pictures of this in the EZC, and he said, you know, he was like, question mark, how is it, right? <laughs> And I was like, man, they're fantastic. Uh, and I said, thank you so much for the great customer service. I mean, he got this out real quick. Uh, he wasn't bugging me to like send his back first or anything. I hate when the companies do that. It's like, I got a shitty product. I spent this much money. And then you're going to ask me to send it back before you replace it, right? Like, no, he didn't do any of that. He's like, I'm getting this in the mail. Bang, right? Got it in like a day. Um, and then he just responded and said, I'm just happy you're happy. And you know what? That's how you run a fucking company right there. So big shout out to Sanford Owen and MBK. And I really like this knife. Uh, this is my office carry knife. This is in the EZC 1.5. They're perfect office carry knives. And since I'm back in the office again, two days a week, it was a few weeks there where I was at home because my kid was sick, then vacation that we didn't take because we got sick, then we were sick the next week. So finally back in the office this week, two days a week. So need some office carry knives and uh, this MBK Slayback is perfect for that. So that's my ramblings of the first impressions on the MBK Slayback. Look at that action, guys. It's just, it's stupid for how small it is. It's just dumb. And any, anybody who tells me it's a light blade and it shouldn't drop shut on a knife I hate that excuse um, when it's a small knife and people say that. You just have to use the right bearings and dial it correctly and you can do it. There is no blade play at all, no lock rock at all, yet it does that. So suck it, other companies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you to MBK. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a full review, obviously, when the time comes. Spend a little time with this sucker. Uh, right now, do I see myself just selling it randomly? No, I don't actually. I, I, I really like this guy. I really do. And it's unique in the collection. It's a little different, right? Um, but yet similar because it has the same kind of layout as an easy C. Uh, their clips always work very well. Um, just solid, solid choice for $200. To try that ZDP 189, $140 to get my Carta and M390 on that EZC 1.5. You're just a dope if you don't go get one. So uh, that's how I feel. But uh, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.